Welcome everyone, this is Pablo from Style Systems and if you want to learn more about that elegant style, stay tuned and don't forget to visit stylesystems.net. Welcome again to another episode or another video here explaining the seven different styles based on the theory, the universal theory of style. If you haven't watched that video, pause this video, go back to it, watch it, and then come back to this video, all right? You have to watch that other video to understand the theory of style. Because if you don't know what style is, then you'll get sucked into this wrong idea that you have been pushed on by other people, by some brands that they think they know what style is, when in reality they don't know, right? So, moving forward, let's talk about the elegant style, one of the seven different styles. On the last video, I uploaded the natural style, which by the way, I will be telling you and letting you know what styles combine with other styles. Because with this, within this theory of style, remember that you can be in between two different styles. How do you find out your own style? How do you define your style? Well, we image consultants, we develop a style test. And then from there, after you take the test, you can discover and find out your, what style you fit in. And you can find out on stylesystems.net. It's totally free. So the natural style, the first style that I started to, how I started this series of videos, it's the only style that can be combined and mixed with any other style. It's the only universal style that can be combined and mixed with any other of the seven different styles or six other styles. The elegant style is a whole other story, but I will leave that for the end of this video. What is an elegant style? Remember that the style gets applied to people, brands, and also institutions, right? companies. So, an elegant style is someone who is very refined. It's like a high status, right? And they meticulously take care of their appearance. They always look on point. They always look neat sharp and they look appropriate appropriate for every occasion so it's not like they're gonna be wearing a suit all the time no 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 they're gonna be they know about protocols so if they attend to a certain I don't know event let's say golf they know how to how to wear something that is appropriate for golfing if they are going to go play tennis they know what to wear to go play tennis if they're gonna to go to a bar to a nightclub, they know exactly how to look good and neat and appropriate for go going to a nightclub. If you're going to a business meeting, they know exactly how to look. And the image that they present is like they, they're, they, you know, like culture, right? Like they know what they're doing, which at the same at the same time, people admire them for for that. It causes admiration for, for, for the elegant style. People want to be, always want to be elegant style because it reminds them, especially men, it reminds them of James Bond. You know, the type of man or the type of person that knows everything, right? Like you ask them something and they have this demeanor like, oh, I know. Uh, it looks like a figure of authority, which is one of the strengths, which by the way, I will, I will uh, like in the other video, I will explain the strengths the messages and the risks of this style. But just to have a better idea overall of what the elegant style is, it's very refined. It's very like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? High society, basically, right? Like people with taste, people with good taste. And they actually look like they have more of what they have. They look like they belong in a high society, which means they look like they have money. Even if they don't have money, because having an elegant style doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be rich or have a certain amount of money. However, elegant style, they are very demanding. Very demanding of the people that they surround themselves with. And also, talking about fashion, the brands that they, the clothes that they put on onto themselves. They are all about quality. So they are not going too crazy with their wardrobe. They're not the type of people that have a lot of things going on. They spend a good, actually a large uh, amount of money on quality. They spend their money on quality. Something that, you know, it's a good brand. I know that this will last longer. And I know that this suit, I can combine it with so many other different things. So it's, 
it's a good investment. They're not gonna be, you know, like other styles that you will be seeing as we progress on this series of videos. They're not like other styles that they just buy a lot of stuff and they go crazy with it. The elegant style, they actually they have a very basic wardrobe, but it's a quality wardrobe, very, very good. Very good wardrobe when it comes to the fabric of their clothes and the colors, they know that they work for everything, you know? So they know what they're doing, basically. They know their wines, they know their food, you know? They, they are connoisseurs, in, in, in other words. The same thing happens in their, with their grooming habits. You know, it's not like they're going over the top, but they do take care of them. They go to whitening their teeth and stuff like that. Just the little details that make you, they make them look like, whoa, they are someone to be reckoned with, all right? So again, I will be reading to you some of the messages, strengths, and risks of this style. Because remember, I have to say it again. When you bring the volume up of one style, sometimes the message d doesn't get understood because it's, it's noise, it's pure noise. When you bring it all the way down, sometimes you can't even hear what the message is saying because it's almost like it's almost turned off. So it's about balance. If you bring it up, you run a risk. If you bring it down, you run a risk. And this is exactly what we will be covering right now, the balance, right? So some of the messages that the elegant style transmits is of course, image of refinement, someone refined, of high status, of high society, right? They reflect success, assertiveness, confidence, of course, and serenity, authority. They are a figure of authority and they look cultured. They, they look smart, basically. They reflect culture. The brands, the people, or the institutions, the companies, when they use the messages of the elegant style, it's reflecting culture, it's reflecting authority, it is reflecting confidence and assertiveness and high status. It's, bring, it's taking the level that it is and bringing it a little bit upper, bringing it upper. So you can take the same product, right? You can take the same phone, Two phones that are the same. The elegant style, what it does, it makes it look like it's higher, a higher position, more quality. You know, just for the connoisseurs. Even though it can be the same thing, it's just for the connoisseurs. What some some of the strengths? Prestige, of course. If you hang around someone who is an, with an elegant style, you immediately become someone with prestige, like, oh, I'm, I'm hanging out with James Bond, look at this, you know, I'm hanging out with someone who is very classy, right? Someone who knows what they're doing. So, it reflects one of the strengths that they have, it's, it's prestige and distinction. They're different from, from the rest of the people. They raise their social position and they cause admiration and imitation. People admire them, but not only that, people want to be like them. They want to be around them and they aspire to become like them. They want to imitate them, which is the point of, the case in point of James Bond. Now, I will be giving you some examples of women as well, because remember, this is for men and women as well, all right? And now, some of the risks. If you don't take care of this style, you can look presumptuous or appear like you know, like you are know-it-all. You can look, or they can look like they are someone who is, you know, like uh, too much ego, right? Like, oh, I already know, like I'm better than you, I'm better than everyone around me. Like, oh, come on, you can't teach me anything. You can't give me anything new. I already know everything. Oh my God, I'm so, you know, presumptuous. You already know what I'm talking about. Like these posh people, like, oh my God, I'm better than everyone else. I can't hang around low, low class places because, well, even their tonality, right? And you know people like that, the words that they use, how they move their body and their tonality as well. So be sharp, enhance your perception, start perceiving this with people around you, with brands, a brand, let's talk about brands. Calvin Klein, um, some of it, because Calvin Klein is also a little bit natural, right? It could be natural, but Hugo Boss, uh, of course, um, Senya, um, Armani, right? Mm, what's another one? Well, let's leave it like that. Right now, just to give you an example, because I can go on and on and on, but that's exactly why I have my premium content, what I explain it 
further and, and I further develop this theory of style, of course, for the people, you know, my, my personal students. But I think you have a, a good idea right now. Some examples of people, it would be, I don't know if you are old enough to remember the past James Bond, not the new, not the new one, the, the Daniel Craig, it's the new James Bond, but the last one, Pierce Brosnan. He is a great example, his persona of an elegant style, right? Because Daniel Craig, this new James Bond, he's in between natural and elegant. And remember, natural can go with every single style. So uh, just look at the old James Bond, the, the, the last one, Pierce Brosnan. Another one would be um, Kate Winslet, right? If you don't know who that is, man, can't help you. John Hamm, the person that uh, used to do, he's an, an actor. He used to play Don Draper in Mad Men, right? So these people, they are very elegant. Just look at their communication. Look at how they present themselves when they do an interview, when they're around people. Just look at that and you will start to get a better understanding of the elegant style, right? Now, how the elegant style can be combined with or can be mixed with romantic, classy, classic, natural, seductive, and dramatic style. It can only be combined with romantic, classic, natural, seductive, and dramatic style. Other than that, you can mix it with any other style, all right? So, if you have more questions, remember that you can go to stylesystems.net and you will get a free ebook. That's right, a free ebook that is called The Truth About Style. And I further develop it over there. You will understand it. So, that's it for today. Be the best version of yourself, and I will see you, my friends, on the next one.